we're doing a lot of nut plate the last few days, which is just a lot of tedious repetitive work. Your friend when doing nut plates is a nut plate drill jig. Uh, they come in all different sizes, the most popular obviously being 6, 8, and 10s. In this case, we're doing 10s on this fuel cell cover. And basically what you do with this uh, drill plate jug, jig rather, is once you drill all your holes, the drill plate jig goes in, you drill a hole here for the one ear, and then this flips over, and you drill the other ear. So it's, it's very easy to get all these holes done, and they all line up very nicely. And then, oh, sorry about that. The next step is countersinking all the holes with your step countersink. The step countersinks are really nice. They allow you to adjust the depth of the countersink. Uh, basically almost for a thousandths of an inch. And you just have to go around and countersink all the holes, only the ones in this case that hold the nut plate on. Then we'll be clicking all the nut, players, nut plates and uh, I'll show you how we're gonna use a squeezer to get all the nut plates finished. So we started talking about nut plates last time and maybe what we ought to do is talk about why we're using nut plates. For those of you maybe wondering what they are, uh, so a nut plate is used where you don't have access to the nut on the side of the fastener, whether it be a screw or a bolt. And what they do is they attach to the surface here using a rivet, okay? And you can use a couple of different kinds of rivets. So here's what one nut plate looks like. This is a fixed nut plate. This one you're going to see here is a floating nut plate. It's a little more complicated in that the nut is kind of secured, the nut portion, and it floats. So the mounting holes aren't quite as accurate. It gives you a little bit of slop and fitment. The ears are the same length, so you can use them interchangeably. And as I mentioned in the last video, you're using the drill plate, the nut plate drill jig to drill all these. We've got them drilled. Now while you were gone, we actually fastened 28 nut plates here with Clicos, okay? And I guess I'm assuming people know what Clicos are again. But a Clico is a temporary fastener. You just squeeze it and it, it holds the nut plate in place through one of the ears. So we can get a rivet into the other ear. The so the nut plates are below? Yeah, the nut plates are right down here on the other side. Okay, we're actually using, this is a cover here that's going to go here once the nut plates are all on. This is the fuel cell area and this is a cover for the fuel cell. Okay. Again, we're using nut plates where you don't have access to the nut on the back side. You can see once this cover's in place, there's no way to get a wrench on the nut on the other side. So hence you use a nut plate. Now the purpose of the rivets is really only to keep this nut plate from spinning, right? So where you have easy access, we're going to use what's called a typical hard rivet, right? These are AN426s, they're countersunk heads. They'll go into one of the ears here and you can use a pneumatic gun or it's much easier to just use a rivet squeezer here by hand come down here and hold that tight and then just squeeze that rivet in place okay. once that rivet is in place we can take the Clico and the nut plate should be remaining if you hear a clunk the nut plate falling away after you've removed the Clico it means you didn't put that rivet in the other ear hole and that's one of the things you want to pay attention to when you're putting all these nut plates on with the Clicos. It's very easy to get one off just a little bit. So when you push your rivet in there, it'll scoot it out of the way and you'll end up just riveting to the side of the ear. And then the nut plate's not attached. You'll have to drill out the rivet. Okay. You can also use a pop rivet to hold the rivet in place if you'd like. It's, it's sometimes quicker, it's sometimes a lot easier. In this case, we have access to all these holes and we can use a squeezer. If you come around the side over here, you'll see yesterday we attached some mounts here. Okay, I put screws in here so I wouldn't lose them, but you can see the ears from the nut plate here. And it's kind of hard to reach around, so this becomes a two-person job or much easier to just use a pop rivet into that. Again, the rivet's only purpose is to keep the nut plate from spinning. So this was much easier to do one person wise, just use the pop rivet where we have tough access or you need two people.